We're Jack and Tracy, an Aussie and Canadian who, after living the nine to five life on the Gold Coast in Australia, decided to renovate a bus. Oh, wow! Pack up our apartment. Moving day! And move in to experience life <laughs> on the road full time. Join us through the ups and downs as we explore our way around this beautiful country. All right, today I was supposed to be a very exciting day. Um, we're currently in Canberra in ACT. Don't let this smiley face fool you. I'm actually very stressed at the moment. We were planning on going to the airport to pick up our really good friend Bo, um, who has just landed flying in from the Gold Coast. And of course, we have a coolant leak. And we're just waiting for RACQ, which is our insurance company slash tow truck company that we use here. Not all is always smooth sailing. Sounds about right. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm just gonna <coughs> ice coffee fixes all. I was so stoked at the start of this clip. I was like, Credo, here we come. Still coming. <laughs> oh man. Good times. The mechanic has come down, didn't have the part we needed on him in his truck on hand, so he is actually taking Jack to a repco, which is like a, a parts place to go and grab the right piece that we need. In the meantime, our mate Bo is on his way from the airport to come to the bus to meet us, even though we were supposed to pick him up, so we're super excited to see him. Hopefully we can get all this done and we can just get our trip started and enjoy the two and a half hour drive down to the snowy mountains. You can't just be no. sitting in the bus, bro, like just jumping in without thinking you're oh, not going to do initiation. you got to be yourself, bro. <laughs> but we've all had to I'm do it, sure mate. We've all had oh, to do it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Here you go. Get it done, son. Get it done. <laughs> <laughs> Killed it. Oh, my God. Here we go, day two. We'll get some riding in, eh, Bo? Yeah, we don't try and go up and smash it all day today, I reckon. all day. We are uh, making, what are we making? Nachos, babe? Nachos! What are the Or sax of pepper that you stole from the pub. Let's have some jackfruit, some black beans, mushroom caps come under there, green onion, have some red onion, yeah, we got all the onion. tomatoes, guac that the lovely Bo over here made. Yeah! yeah. Nacho gang! Nacho gang! <laughs> you wait to see how this looks when it's done. It is. Oh, there it is! Boy! A little bit of that. Yeah. <laughs> favorite part about this whole trip is that we have a kitchen with a dishwasher and someone who's doing the dishes for us. Is that clean or dirty? I don't know. Where are we going, team? No place to walk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Rained out the last couple of days. Yeah, up here at Threadbow. We couldn't, Bo and I couldn't get on our bikes at all today. The Leisure Centre down the road has a squash court. I'm going to whoop your ass. Anything that you don't 
don't want inside there, like on. Yeah. Ooh. All right. That yeah. 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 Show me some. Show me some. Show me some. Show me some. Threadbow, Snowy Mountains, where Bo and I were doing a bunch of riding. We didn't, we didn't vlog too much, did we, babe? No, we didn't no, vlog at all. We didn't move the camera out much. <laughs> but we dropped Bo back. Uh, he's back on the Gold Coast, and we are still down in the Snowy Mountains region. Kosciuszko um, National Park. Um, we're actually currently doing the mission over to South Australia, so we have a few really long days of driving ahead. Mm. And we're just made a little pit stop and found some pretty cool thermal swimming pool so we're excited to kind of go take a dip in one thing i will say which has been really sad while we've been in new south wales doing a lot of driving um through all of it is just actually seeing a lot of the impacts in real life that the australian bushfires had it's really heart-wrenching just to really drive through all these locations and physically see just exactly how much land was destroyed and where we currently are in Kosciuszko National Parks was one of those places that was really really deeply affected and we've been driving by a lot of burnt down homes and but there's so much land that's just been ripped through. It does feel weird that what feels like the middle of nowhere. Like we've been driving for ages and then all of a sudden down one gravel road is a uh, man-made pool. <laughs> Little gems like that, you know. No need for a shower tonight. Yes. Good swim. They say like it's a warm pool and the picture looks steamy, but it's pretty chilly. I'm <laughs> so glad I didn't get my hair wet. Now we're chilling by this river that we luckily have all to ourselves at the moment. Well, we were alone. Is it cool? Well, from here, we're gonna head back to the bus, get some Wi Fi because we have no reception in this area at all, and probably scope out a couple of um, free camps for the next couple of nights while we're making our way through into South Australia. We just got to a free camp um, that we're scoping out. It's a bit of a puddle situation. Just scoping out how deep it is before we drive our whole house through it. <laughs> Doesn't look too bad. <laughs> no worries, mate. Oh, wow. And home for the night is looking a bit like this. Such an epic free camp. The view, like nothing beats this. And there's not one other person here. Some little set up. I just finished that workout and went for a run around the lake and then had a dance party by myself blasting my music for about 10 to 15 minutes and I feel so good and now I'm ready to make dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Far out babe. I love it. This is why you do bus life. <laughs> Forget riding the tow truck. This is what it's about. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and get into dinner and I'm making like a vegan, kind of like a vegan Mexican bowl with like a bean mix kind of vibe. I haven't really named what this recipe exactly is, uh, but it's super healthy, super nutritious, easy, affordable, and I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, my cameraman is out <laughs> drone flying. <laughs> 
um, but yeah, this recipe is super, super easy, super cheap. Um, it's just some veggies, onion, I'm going to add garlic, diced tomatoes, any kind of bean mix you want, anything that you prefer that is your favorite, and some lentils. <laughs> This is what it ends up looking like. This is mine of a salad, the mixture avo and some tortilla chips, and this one is Jack's. Oh my god, that look at that chips and that thing. And we're gonna watch some friends and enjoy the view out there. Oh I'm lucky. Oh, good morning. Yeah, this is just gorgeous. Trace has a really good habit of making me feel super lazy. Like she'll work out every single day and I often sit there and watch her and go, mm, I should probably do that. But um, yeah, time to go for a walk. just woke up as you can probably tell <laughs> I just like opened all the curtains that surrounds our bed and this is what I'm looking at it's pretty special <laughs> cheers Alright, so I've had my fair share of sitting and just enjoying what's around me while I have a cup of tea. So now we are actually going to get our morning started. Jack's going to do a workout. I'm going to do a workout. We're going to have some brekkie. And then we have another big day of driving ahead of us. Good morning! Ready to, good morning. Ready to get into the day? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Get it, babe! Yeah! <laughs> look how silly I look in these footy shorts. Look at my little chicken legs. They're not made for running. Down this sketchy I little. I feel like I'm four wheel driving this bus. <laughs> <laughs> um, can you tell me if I'm getting too close to that tree? No, you're good. Made it! Yeah. Slight detour. Someone has a nosebleed. Oh my gosh! Are you okay? Yeah, just uh, pick a little bit. Oh boogie. my gosh. We made it to our beautiful camp off the side of the highway. I've oh. already been honked at. 
asked by um, a truck driver, so that makes me feel safe and secure as a, as a woman sleeping on the side of the road. Hey, maybe I don't feel safe and secure. I can pump that as well. <laughs> um, it is extremely, extremely hot out here. We died the whole drive. We're gonna have a rinse off on this little outdoor shower. Show them how it's done. And then we'll... It is brutal out here. Oh. There oh, you yeah. go. Oh, that is living. I have flies on my butt. That rinse off gave us life again. <laughs> Let's make dinner soon, get an early sleep and hit the road a little bit earlier tomorrow. If we decide to go through Victoria into South Australia, we don't have to do any COVID tests at all because we have not been in Melbourne. Is that correct? She said, pretty much, I can't help you make your decision. I think let's just stay in New South Wales there, and that's why, yeah, we don't have to go through the headache of all new border passes and stuff. Um, to go into South Australia by New South Wales is gonna make, uh, make us drive like four hours more. The quicker way would just be to drive that ye little yellow line straight in. That takes us into Victoria, just inside that little red line. So we're gonna just play it safe and we're gonna have to drive this little road all the way up here to Broken Hill and then go in because this red line here is South Australia. Because that plan's already been okay, so. Back to it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and not all of the spots that we go to can be absolute winners. Yep, just one big car park that we are allowed to sleep in until tomorrow morning. <laughs> so we're just gonna relax now, dinner, chill out, and do it all again tomorrow. Can I have my iced coffee? Trace makes the best ice coffees in the morning. Essentially everything that we discussed with you yesterday, we completely changed our <laughs> minds. <laughs> yeah, stuff that. Like we're not driving five hours north no. to just to cross into <laughs> the first town on the border is called Cockburn. We ain't going to <laughs> stuff going to Cockburn. Like no one wants that. So <laughs> we uh How could you not want to go to Cockburn? <laughs> So if we just cut across Victoria, we made some calls, apparently it'll be okay, so. So fingers crossed, and if it backfires, we'll we have ourselves to fight. <laughs> Is that it? We're in, what? We're in Victoria now. <laughs> anyway. Well, there you go. So we're now in South Australia and we're, well almost, we're just outside of the entranceway and there's all these signs on the side of the highway that say dispose of fresh fruit and veg. So we can bring all of these in. And goodbye. Goodbye. I have like frozen raspberries. I think these are the only ones we need to get rid of. I'm so excited to get into South Australia. <laughs> that, bit, that bit was bad anyway. We don't need these. I was far 
on for you Fuel, babe. Oh my god, that's like razor sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's trying to kill me. That's for you. They call me Gassy Girl. <laughs> Oh, this petrol's blue. We've made it to Karunda. This is one outback town. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really nice. Let's go set up. Yeah, I'm like starving. I'm like grumpy. Okay. So. Fast forward to ladder on in the evening. This town is tiny. They've got these massive silos that you saw when we when we got here. They're lit up by artwork each month by different Australian artists, I believe. And uh, it's like a oh look at that. These like those it things. This looks like a giant painting, but those are actual silos. Yeah, they're like, they're massive too. I don't know, is this boring? I feel like if I was watching a vlog or something. Well, no, look, it changed. How exciting. <laughs> I think I'd see <laughs> that. Okay, well, that might not even make the vlog. I'm excited to go back to the box and get in bed and get all snuggly. Good morning, Barb. It's time to get moving. Okay. <laughs> Honestly. Alrighty, last day of our travels to our first South Australian uh, destination. Time to pack up this bus and we're gonna hit the road again. We'll see you soon. for about 15 minutes yesterday. We stopped because it started raining. And I'm so sore from that 15 minutes. Ah. I'll tell you what, it's handy having a fridge and an entire kitchen on the road, which is there ready to use the moment you pull off the highway. There you go. to Robe and it is a nice little chilled out little coastal town. I'm gonna go for a quick beach swim which is gonna be bloody chilly. Look how blue that water is! So we're finally at the pub. <laughs> Cheers to being in South Australia. Absolutely. Perfect. Stick around, there's more adventures to come. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs>
we are actually going to go to Kangaroo Island for about a week. Have to put the bus onto a ferry boat today. I can't believe it's I think we gotta get Molly onto the beach. We may have got the bus stuff. We don't have the bus anymore. And now I'm ready to make dinner. Yeah. <laughs> I just swallowed a bug doing that. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Teddy, yeah.